Ohio State taking on Notre Dame. And I bet this one didn't go the way that the majority of you thought it would, did it? Uh, this was 21-10, to 10, Ohio State wins at the shoe. But I, I will tell you, I didn't see this at all. Now, I didn't bet on this game, but man, uh, let's, let's pop this thing up here. Let's look at some of the stats. Uh, offensive yards per play, obviously Ohio State won that. Total yards, um, <laughs> Conk said Louisville, direct opposite. Yeah, I, I don't even have Louisville to talk about, but we can chat on it at the end of the show. Uh, total yards, Ohio State, 410 to 283. Neither team had a turnover. Both teams had 13 third down attempts. 53.85% is what Ohio State hit. Uh, scoring opportunities, that's drives inside the 40. Ohio State with five of those to only three for Notre Dame. Notre Dame's offense could not get anything going outside of that one drive that they were really successful on in that first half. Uh, 4.2 points per scoring opportunity for Ohio State, and uh, and they had a little bit better field position. Uh, they, you know, you look at the stat sheet, it kind of looks like they dominated. Um, this was a different kind of win, and Ryan Day did tell us. like He said, you know, if you, this is this is what we're going to do, right? We we have to establish the line of scrimmage. He said it earlier in the week, and I don't think anybody really paid attention to him. Um, at least I didn't, because you you see all those weapons, you see what they're doing, and you think now this yeah, like we this is what we expect is the Rose Bowl, right? And yeah, they're they're going to be a little soft, but that's okay because they'll make up for it with explosivity. Right, but they didn't. They <laughs> there was no explosiveness. Now, obviously, it is important that we mentioned Jackson Smith and Jigba. Of course, went out in this game. He had two catches for three yards. Um, it was it was strange, right? Because we don't know exactly what's going on there. Uh, I'm curious, you guys that are in the chat or, or that are watching live. I'm curious what your thoughts were on this offense. I mean, they ran the ball like they they decided that they were going to. Uh, go to the line of scrimmage, and they were going to make this thing. Uh, they, they did it on defense, which, by the way, Jim Knowles' defense, how awesome was that? It's like they have already got this thing figured out. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a fun, fun ball game to watch just schematically, right? Um, looking at the Ohio State receiving, uh, Xavier Johnson here, two receptions, 34 yards. He had that one touchdown. This was a former walk-on. He thought he was going to shock everybody. I saw all the stories afterwards uh, when he came in as a freshman. But, man, uh, just awesome. Like, just just awesome to see him get that opportunity uh, to make that play like that. Uh, C.J. Stroud, I was, I was not overly impressed with. 24 out of 34, 223 yards and two touchdowns. Like, he, a very, I'm not going to say pedestrian. How about working like? That's a, a very working man uh, evening at the office, right? It, it was pretty good. Now, on the other side, Notre Dame, all the props in the world. All the props in the world for them because they were able to do things defensively. They dared Ohio State to run the ball. Uh, They they dropped back multiple guys over and over. They, They dropped two safeties. The only time that I bet Al Golden really wishes he had something back was, of course, the the double safety blitz when C.J. Stroud hit him over the top, right? That's the one, and that's the one that, of course, went to Xavier Williams there. Um, but, yeah, I I still, or excuse me, Xavier Johnson, I still don't know exactly what to make of uh, either one of these teams because I still don't think Notre Dame is very good on offense. I knew that they would have plans on defense, but also wonder if maybe Ohio State went out to prove something more so than to just win the football game. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. They, I think Ohio State had plenty of opportunities. Uh, I just don't think that they took advantage of those. And I, If you're telling me that Jackson Smith and Jigba is the only way that this offense is explosive, I just can't buy that. Like it, it really doesn't make any sense to me. So, either way, Ohio State gets the win. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures.
Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.